Hi, my name's Tav Claudine, and I'm going to tell you about 20 super interesting tennis facts. The Grand Slam tennis event of Roland Garros is named after Eugène Adrien Roland Georges Garros, who was a great French man. Amongst many interesting stories, including him being a war hero and a multi sportsman, was the fact that he was the first person to fly across the Mediterranean. I love facts about everything. And the Mediterranean Sea translates from its Latin origins as the sea at the centre of the world, which is what they thought it was back in Roman times. Although tennis has been around for centuries, the first lawn tennis court was built in Birmingham, England, back in 1859. Harry Gemini's friend, JBA Pereira, first experimented with a game that is now recognised as the forerunner of the modern game of lawn tennis. This was in the garden of Pereira's house. In 1984, the longest ever recorded tennis point in history took 29 minutes. Uh, the match was played between Vicky Nelson and Gene Hepner. The rally wasn't the most competitive and was mostly both players stood at the baseline lobbing the ball back to each other. Eventually, Nelson went for a winner and was successful. At the end of the rally, Nelson collapsed with cramps in her legs. The umpire had no sympathy for her and hit her with a time violation warning. Somewhat ironic after 29 minutes for a rally. Tennis was actually referred to in Henry V, the play by William Shakespeare. Tennis only has 30 rules and the USTA have a rule book which explains them in 324 pages. Why use one word when 10 will do? Rafa Nadal is actually right-handed but plays tennis left-handed. Uncle Tony, his coach, taught him that way in order to get an advantage over the other right-handers. Tennis great Althea Gibson was the first black woman to win the French Open in 1956 and in 1957 she won Wimbledon and what would become the US Open, repeating the feat again in 1958. Tennis was removed from the Olympic programme in 1924 because they couldn't determine which players were professional and which weren't. John Boland from Great Britain travelled to the Athens Games in 1896 to spectate. His friend, who was also the secretary of the 1896 organising committee, entered him into both the men's singles and doubles tennis competition. Boland went on to become Olympic champion in both competitions. His doubles winning partner was a German, Friedrich Tran. The years in which tennis Grand Slam tournaments were first contested, while well, Wimbledon was established in 1877, it's the oldest. The US Open in 1881, the French Open 10 years later in 1891, and the newcomer to the block is the Australian Open, which was first held in 1905. In 1900, a man named Dwight Davis gave his name to a tennis competition between the United States and Great Britain. More than 60 countries now contest the Davis Cup annually. There's an opinion that the tennis scoring system came about because of the use of a pair of clocks to keep the score on. Obviously 15, 30, 60 for zero and uh, game. A win streak of 81 is an all-time record of any professional player on a particular surface. The record is held by Rafa Nadal and it's on clay. In 1969, Rodney George Laver of Australia became the first man to win a pure Open Grand Slam by taking all four major titles in the same year. Have you ever thought what the fewest shots needed by a player to win a set of tennis is? Well, 12 strokes is the minimum needed to win a set of tennis by one player. If the player serves aces on all their serves and their opponent double faults every serve, then the set winning player will only have played 12 strokes. There are principally four different tennis surfaces that are played on. Wimbledon is played on grass, uh, Roland Garros on clay, Australian and the US are played on hard and some indoor competitions are played on carpet. A bagel in tennis is losing a set 6-0. There are about 42,000 tennis balls used in the 650 matches of a Wimbledon Championship. 
after the championships, the balls are not thrown away. They are given to different tennis clubs and schools in the area. I worked and lived in that area for a long time. The word tennis is said to come from medieval France. This is where the sport was first developed. Players would shout tennis, which translates to take that as they hit the ball. Tennis balls used to be white. It was only really after the introduction of televised tennis that they were changed to the yellow, a much more visible ball we know and love today. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it quite interesting. Please leave a comment below and if you have liked the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and turn on those notifications. Check out tavclaudane.com for much, much more sports-related content.